As a child growing up in Jamaica, I used to harvest the flowers of this plant, which is commonly known as pustail here in Jamaica. And I would put it in my hair and pretend I had long hair, or I'd put it in my shorts and pretend I was a cat with a long tail. Totally unaware at the time that this plant is widely known for its uses in ethnomedicine, which we're going to be sharing with you in just a minute. We'll also be sharing its medicinal properties and other uses. This plant can be toxic if it is not used properly, so please watch until the end to learn more about that. Join us now as we explore the fascinating world of another one of Jamaica's numerous medicinal plants. <laughs> So the scientific name for pustil is Acalypha hispida and apart from pustil it has other common names in different languages. In English some of the other common names are chenille plant, foxtail, red cattail, red hot cat's tail and monkey tail among other common names. It is a part of the Euphorbiaceae plant family. The genus is called Acalypha, and this genus comprises of about 450 to 462 species of plants. Now, the exact origin of this plant is questionable because the information that is provided is conflicting, but we know that it grows here in Jamaica and in other tropical and the subtropical regions around the world. In Jamaica, you will see it growing mostly in people's yards and sometimes you'll see it growing in other green spaces. In other countries, people grow them in containers and in terms of its characteristics, it's a shrub or tree that can grow up to about 15 feet tall with a spread of about eight feet wide if it's not in a container. The leaves are heart shaped and they have serrated edges and a pointed tip. They are also alternately arranged on the stem and the petiole, which is the part that connects the leaf to the stem, is long. There are usually different sized leaves on the plant and some of them can get pretty big. The leaves and stems produce a milky sap and the plant has male and female flowers on different plants. This is what the female flower looks like. It's red in color but there are other cultivars with other colors. It's also soft to touch and fuzzy and as you can see the female flower is quite showy. However, the male flower is not as beautiful. This plant can be grown from stem cuttings and seeds. <laughs> Studies have shown that the plant has alkaloids, also tannins, saponins, flavonoids, glycosides, phenols, steroids, and hydroxyanthraquinones. The plant has also been shown to have anti-inflammatory properties, antioxidant, hypoglycemic, antimicrobial, antifungal properties that can kill trypanosomes, which are parasites. It has also been shown to have cytotoxic properties and alcoholic extracts of pustail have been reported to be biologically active against some types of bacteria. In some cultures, people use the leaves, flowers, shoots, roots and bark in folklore medicine to treat different maladies. The leaves and stems are soaked in boil water and this water is said to be useful for treating skin rashes. The leaves and the young shoots are said to be useful for treating thrush. It is also said that they are macerated with green tobacco leaves with a rice infusion 
and used to treat stomach ulcers. The leaves made into a poultice is said to be useful for leprosy. A decoction of the leaves and the flowers is said to be useful topically for wounds and ulcers, while internally it is said to be useful as a laxative and a diuretic to treat gonorrhea. A decoction made from the aerial parts of the plant is said to be useful for dysentery. The bark root is said to be useful for pulmonary issues. The flowers boiled in water are said to be useful for treating diarrhea. To treat asthma, it is said that the plant is used as an expectorant. The root and flower decoction is said to be useful for hemoptysis, which is a malady that causes one to cough up blood. Fresh roots and flowers are also said to be useful for this issue. The flowers are said to be useful for kidney ailments and the leaves for vitiligo, which are white patches on the skin that is caused because of loss of pigment. Pustail is grown as an ornamental plant some people use it as a hedge. It is said to be an air purifier. It is said that the plant is considered to be sacred in the Balinese Hindu culture and the people from that culture use it in their religious ceremonies and offerings. Some people believe that the plant has protective properties against evil spirits and in some cultures it is said that people cook and eat the young leaves as a vegetable. The leaf and stem sap of the plant is said to be poisonous and can cause indigestion, nausea, vomiting and diarrhea. It is also said that the plant contains a substance that is called hydrocyanic acid and this can cause vomiting and respiratory distress if it is ingested in large quantities and that contact with the flower may cause skin irritation or allergic reactions in persons who are sensitive. That's it for now guys. For your own benefit and safety, please do your own research and see you in the next video.